Welcome to Everything Fear. Today we're continuing with our series A Life in Horror, Top 5 Horror Films of the Year 1981. Hello, and welcome to Everything Fear, your one-stop shop for all things horror. I'm Kit Tinsley, I'm a horror author, film academic, and general horror geek. If you enjoy this video, if you could please subscribe, give us a like, and maybe tickle that bell icon to be notified when we upload future content, that would be great, thank you. So today is the next episode in our continuing series, A Life in Horror. In this series, I pick out my personal top five horror movies of every year that I've been alive. Today we focus on the year that I turned three years old, 1981. Number five, Ghost Story. Based on the novel by Peter Straub, directed by John Irvin, and starring some of Hollywood's royalty in Fred Astaire, Douglas Fairbanks Jr. and John Houseman. Ghost Story is an exemplary supernatural horror movie. Four successful old men who were college friends meet once a week to tell each other ghost stories. What they don't know is that a dark secret from their past is coming back to literally haunt them. With beautiful cinematography, genuine scares and an outstanding performance from Alice Krieg, this is a wonderful supernatural ghost story. It's a horror movie with real depth. Number four, Scanners. David Cronenberg's Scanners taps into a similar vein of some of Stephen King's novels from around the same time, such as Firestarter and The Dead Zone. Interestingly, David Cronenberg would actually go on to make the film version of The Dead Zone in 1983. This is a science fiction horror movie that deals with psychic abilities, shady government conspiracies, and medical experiments gone wrong. In the film, a drug is given to pregnant women, which causes genetic changes in the babies they're carrying, more than likely inspired by the thalidomide cases of the 1960s. In this movie, though, the babies are born with psychic abilities. The film deals with the nature of being different and how it can make you a hero or a villain. The film is most famous, perhaps, for the scene where Michael Ironside's character literally makes his opponent's head explode on live TV. Probably one of the most shockingly brilliant moments in horror history. Number three, The Beyond. Lucio Fulci's second film in his Gates of Hell trilogy is his true masterpiece. Bleak and nightmarish, the film oozes menace in every scene. Again, the film mixes Lovecraftian themes with zombie horror movies. Literally every scene in this film puts you on edge. And the scene in the library with the spider attack is really disturbing. And it's one of the few scenes in horror movies I still have difficulty watching to this day. The setting of New Orleans and the Louisiana swamps really adds an oppressive, stifling tone to this film. Number two, The Evil Dead. This film is proof that a group of friends with passion, talent and determination can achieve an originality and greatness that Hollywood budget movies could only ever dream of. From the POV shots of something moving through the woods to the cabin itself, this film is unsettling from the start. Add to that some incredibly realised special effects and a central performance with such power from Bruce Campbell and these are the things that make The Evil Dead the classic it always has been and always will be. Number one, An American Werewolf in London. John Landis's comedy horror is probably the most important werewolf movie since the original Universal Wolfman. This is the film that changed werewolf movies into special effects masterpieces. The creature effects and transformation sequence by Rick Baker and his team in this film are still probably the best ever done. The humour in this film is fantastic, but it never detracts from the horror story. The end of this movie is still heartbreaking. 
The werewolf rampage through Piccadilly is so well orchestrated, especially when you consider that it was all done in one take. An American Werewolf in London became the movie that all subsequent werewolf movies would be measured by. Thank you for joining us. If you agree with my list, let me know in the comments. If you disagreed, let me know what your favourite horror movies of 1981 were. Until next time, stay scared. <laughs>